Rabbits enjoying a lovely spring day on the grass of a park in Roxburgh. After losing out in two previous elections, Gary Kelleher is back on the Otago Regional Council and calling on the council to control the pest the way rabbit boards used to. Uh, my understanding was that it worked, and it worked really well. And what it did was it retained the skills in the areas that, it, that were needed, and it trained people coming up into those you know, with those skills so that they could then undertake the role. And um, uh, you, you now have some very effective contractors out there, but then they're, they're individuals and it's a choice for landowners as to who they, who they get. He says rabbit control is proving a costly business for farmers. For my farm, which is a you know, 500 odd hectares at Springvale, then we're spending nearly 20,000 a year on rabbit control. Now, uh, if you scale that up to larger properties, they're probably spending in proportion to that. You know, it wouldn't be unheard of for a farm to be spending over 100 grand a year um, controlling rabbits. Kelleher says it's important to consider the use of science to genetically modify the population so they can no longer breed. Look, I'm very keen to keep an open mind towards anything like that. Um, the, the gene modification or, you know, genetically modified pro, um, options to me may be a challenge across you know, the current political environment. An ORC spokesman said an increase in rabbits is not uncommon this time of year and could also be attributed to an easy winter and the council is not considering funding research into genetic engineering. In Alexandra, The South Today.